Hi, my name is Jeff. Welcome to Better at Volleyball. This video is going to be a brief overview of NCSA. If you're not familiar with NCSA, it stands for Next College Student Athlete, and it's a service that's created to help you through the recruiting process. Now, I come from a volleyball mindset, but the truth is NCSA serves many different sports. So if you're a player or a parent of a player who's looking to be recruited, this review should really help you understand what you're going to get out of NCSA. All right, if you're looking at NCSA and considering using their service, one of the first questions you're going to have is, does it work with my sport? And if you go to their website and scroll to the bottom, you'll see that there's all kinds of different sports that are listed for both men and women's sports that are uh, college sports, and they even have esports. I was surprised to see. So definitely take a take a look at that. Um, the next question you probably have is how much does it cost? And that's actually the page that I came to uh, to begin showing you that actually on their website they don't publish their prices. And so the model that they use and what we went through is you begin the process of setting up your profile and you call them and speak to them and they describe the different packages and you talk about the price with the person on the phone. Um, of course, this is a very strong uh, sales pitch model of running a program, but just know that price is negotiable and so you can work with them on that and the payments for what we agreed to do was pay it over a year. Now, one of the benefits that they'll point out is when you sign up to do this service, and I'm just gonna go ahead and log in to um, Heidi, my daughter's account, uh, as I'm talking. When you agree to sign up for their service, it is for your entire career as a college athlete. And so um, it's not an annual fee, it's a one-time fee that you're paying for the service. And so if you're considering signing up for it, don't wait until your senior year. Go ahead and sign up for it, 8th, 9th, 10th grade, and you can go ahead and start using the service and building your experience with it, building contacts and all that kind of thing, um, getting good at the recruiting process early on. And really, honestly, that's something that I regret that we didn't do was uh, sign up for this sooner. Okay, so when you log into the site, uh, you can see that Heidi has a profile page here, and this is this is her dashboard. And so when she signs in, she she may have notifications. She has uh, her own colleges that she's identified for her sport that she's interested in. But I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, just so you understand. Uh, if you're not familiar with me or my daughter, Heidi uh, plays volleyball and she has been recruited and she actually just yesterday started her first practice with her university team, Fried Hardman University in Tennessee, and that was her first choice. Actually, if you go down here, here it is. Fried Hardman University is part of her NCSA uh, account. And so for her, this uh, user profile isn't something she'll be using anymore, or doesn't plan to use anymore. But if she were looking to actually transfer, let's say you're a, a junior college athlete and you hope to get recruited to a four-year school later on, uh, you can continue to use NCSA after you've already joined uh, university or college and continue to use their service okay but if you're beginning you'll go in and it's just like any other uh, social media platform you'll create your user profile she's got her player picture here and you can go in and edit your profile and fills out you fill out all your details okay we're not going to go through that that's pretty self-explanatory and you can see here that she has a feed of different um, 
videos of different players, different colleges making different announcements or, or things like that. And she's got her favorite colleges are identified right here. So she's got quick access to, to check in with them. And you may be wondering, well, how, how do I actually use the service? Okay, so to me, the number one coolest thing about this service that I thought was worth subscribing to is if you go over here to find colleges, it gives you a map of the country and then it lets you do a search based on a whole bunch of criteria at once. So for Heidi, she was able to come in here and say, okay, I live in Alabama. I'd be happy to play in Alabama. I'm willing to go to Mississippi, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Florida. Let's just say that was it. Um, so you select whichever states you're interested in. If you'd like to go anywhere in the country, you just could select all. But uh, for most people, they have a certain part of the country they'd like to be in. Okay, and then I could come down here and I could say, well, I know I'm not a Division I athlete, but I'd like Division II or NAI or Junior College. Okay, Division III doesn't um, offer uh, true sports scholarships, so I'm not going to select that one. I'm only interested in the others. And then I could also you know select different criteria in each of those categories you know i i don't want to do the most competitive for division two i want to say somewhat competitive um with naia i want most competitive whatever you can make your own choices let's say most competitive on junior college now i can choose the size of the school the enrollment and I could say, well, I only want to go to schools that are 1,500 students or more. And then I could say, okay, tuition, you could put a range in here. Well, I don't want to go anywhere where I have to pay more than $10,000 in tuition. Uh, and so you can go in here and you can also choose, you know, based on if you want a Christian school or a women's only school or men's only school. Um, you can choose depending on the setting of the town that you're you're going to be located in if you only want urban or rural um, and public or private okay in this case I'm gonna leave them all set to all okay and I'm gonna hit search okay and then it jumps to a list of colleges that meet my criteria now based on the criteria I put in there are 20 different colleges in their list. Sometimes we did searches with Heidi that would uh, throw, uh, you know, 60, 70, 80 different colleges into the list. And then what's going to happen is when you, when you look at these, it gives you a breakdown real quick. Okay, this is junior college. Here are the different stats, the tuition, the, the enrollment, all that kind of stuff. Okay, now let's say I'm interested in this college. Now I click into this college and I'm given, because I'm a volleyball player, I'm given the volleyball coaching staff's uh, contact info. So this is huge right here, that you can generate a list anywhere in the country based on your criteria and suddenly you have the different coaches contacts available to you right there. Also, something that was very helpful is it'll give you a match percentage based on the criteria that you put in. So even though something might not be 100% match, you know, it may meet enough of the criteria that I'm interested in. It may be not in the part of the country that I want to go, but it hits every other thing I chose. Well, it'll be in the list and it'll be less than 100%. In some cases, you might find some that are 100%. Okay, this coaching staff contact info was huge in our case because the truth was Heidi's number one school that she was interested in, Fred Hardman University, uh, actually has a head coach and an assistant coach, and she had been trying to reach the head coach 
And so as soon as she logged in on this profile, she could see the, the assistant coach's information. She messaged her and suddenly she was on their radar. So that can be fantastic. Once you've chosen some colleges that you're interested in, you will have a tab that says My Colleges, and you can go in here and keep track of the interaction that you've had with these uh, different coaches, and it will keep track of the different kinds of communication that you've had with them. One of the things that's really useful is the service will actually prompt you as the player to reach out to the coaches more often. It will encourage you to pick a college and send an email. Pick a college and call the coach. Now when you email them through here, it tracks that and keeps track of how long it's been since you've communicated with them and it prompts you again. Uh, time to check back in with that coach. If you'll record when you do a phone call, it will keep track of that and can really be helpful in prompting the player, the athlete, to take charge of their own recruiting process. If you have any questions and you're trying to get the most out of the service, you can use this NCSA University and it has all kinds of different helpful strategies and you know talks about different things like how to talk to coaches, how to email coaches. It gives you uh, different templates that you can use and all that kind of thing. One of the other things that I hadn't really talked about is this is another avenue for you to come in and post your videos so that all the different coaches that are looking at you can actually see in one place uh, the different highlight videos or recruiting videos that you'd like to upload. So if you're using another service or you're posting them on uh, YouTube or Huddle or something like that, you can end up either linking them or uploading them so that they're visible here in NCSA. You know, with recruiting, it's kind of like fishing. You wanna get a lot of opportunities and hopefully you'll find the fit that's right for you and you'll get a great opportunity. Now in our case, uh, NCSA was very helpful in getting Heidi the scholarship that she was really looking for at her first choice of school. So it's huge. It may turn out differently for you, but for us, it was very effective and helpful. And it was great for her to be exposed to many different coaches, different schools that she otherwise wouldn't have considered uh, or wouldn't have even known about. And if it hadn't worked out with her number one choice, she had a couple other offers that uh, she, she wouldn't have known anything about those schools. So definitely consider if it would be right for you. All right, if you're still watching the video at this point, I've got to assume that you're either in the recruiting process or about to start the recruiting process. I'm going to link in the description of this video to an article that I wrote going through all the different steps and things you need to think about about the recruiting process. Some of them may be things that you've probably already heard about or maybe even done, but take a moment, if nothing else, just to look down the list and see the different things. You'll, you'll find something in that list that you've probably never even heard of or thought about. It may be very helpful. I want you to be successful in your recruiting journey, and so definitely take a moment to check it out. As I always say, until next time, Good luck on the courts.